I have a story to tell. You want to hear it? Do we have mm -hmm. time? Yeah, go ahead. Kurt and I were doing the Ouija board. This is something Kurt is absolutely skeptical about as you can be. But we'd had a few glasses of wine one night. We were walking upstairs, and there was this Ouija board, the old kids' Ouija board thing. Mm -hmm. I said, we got to throw this thing out. Let's get rid of it, burn it. But before we do, <laughs> why don't we try it? God is my witness. We did the Ouija board. I was taking the letters down, and Kurt was blindfolded on one end, and the, our nanny at that point, who was also a very dear friend, was on the other end, and they could not see where this thing was going. It stopped at every letter I wrote it down, and what it said was, I said, who is with us now? It said, new baby Russell. No. And I just told him, and I get the chills just thinking about it. And it said, yes. I said, do you know what you want to be? It spelled out happy. I said, who is willing you in? It spelled out, I promise you, Oliver. I mean, no, it, not O, maybe L. It was O-L-I-V-E-R. Now I'm inside, I'm like screaming. They don't know what's happening here because they can't see the board. Mm -hmm. With that, Oliver woke up, comes running downstairs. It was like 2 in the morning. Mommy said, I'm scared. He woke up. He had some weird thing happen to me, a sleeping nightmare. I put him back up to bed, came back to the board. Suddenly I said, do you know that you are coming to me? Yes. Bye, bye, Mommy. Off the board. <laughs> anyway, so when the baby came and, and we were in the hospital and everything was joyous, Oliver came and he picked the baby up and he lay down on the bed with him and he said, Mom, I can't believe he's here and he's mine. Wow. It was, it's, it's an enormous connection.